In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So announcement in strange places. That is what we are looking at this morning. There is someone that needs to go and be announced. Your gifts, your talents need to be announced. What you are doing, that's your business. Somebody must hear about it. So until you are announced, you are not known. Until you are announced, nobody will recognize you. Nobody will patronize you. So that is what divine announcement does. So we are looking at announcement in strange places. Turn your Bible with me to 1 Kings chapter 17, verse 9. 1 Kings 17, verse 9. The Bible says, Arise! He was telling prophet Elijah, Arise and get it to Sarephath, which belonged to Sidon, and dwell there. Behold, I have commanded a widow woman here to sustain thee. I want you to look at it. Go and live in the village of Serapat, near the city of Sidon. I have instructed a widow there to feed you. Now, before Elijah went to Serapat, God told him that he, God, has commanded a widow there to sustain him, to feed him. This widow did not know Elijah. This widow has nothing to do with Elijah, but God has gone ahead there. God said, I've mentioned you to a widow. I've mentioned you to somebody. I want to pray for someone. God will mention you to people that will sustain you. Amen. God will mention your business. He will mention your family. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So Elijah was yet to go to Celebrate, but God already made an announcement in his favor. That if somebody listen to me, the Lord will make an announcement in your favor. Amen. Say it very well. Amen. He will make an announcement about your ministry, about your business in the name of Jesus. Amen. So God already spoke about Elijah in a place he was yet to arrive at. Can you see that? Oh my God. Sweet Holy Spirit. Let everyone listen to me right now, including me, including this ministry. An announcement of us, an announcement of what we can do, an announcement of our gift, of our talent. Lord, let it be announced in a place that we don't know, in a place we have not arrived at, in the name of Jesus. Amen. So God advertised Elijah beyond the shore of Israel. Listen to me, when God wants to announce you, he will announce beyond the shore. Of your village. Many people they are only known in their locality. There are some people that they are not even known, even their locality. But when God wants to announce you, He will announce you beyond the shore of your nation. Friend, this morning God is about announcing you in strange places. Amen. Can someone say, Lord, go and announce me? Lord, go and announce me. In the strange places. In the name of Jesus. Somebody, God is about to advertise you in high places. Amen. What I said, in high places. Amen. Among kings. Amen. Among president of nations. He will announce you. Amen. He will announce this ministry. Amen. Say, my father, my father. My father, my father. Advertise me father, in high places. In, high in the name of Jesus. Amen. Advertise this ministry Amen. in high places. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Advertise my ministry, my business. My skill, my talents, my glory in high places. That is the prayer you ought to pray. God needs to advertise you. Divine advertisement in high places. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, advertise us. In Jesus' name we pray. God is asking me to tell someone that is about causing someone to hear about you. Even before seeing you. Yes, they will hear about you before seeing you. Look at Elijah. They have heard about him without seeing him. What they just want to hear is about you. They don't need to see you. Yes. When David was about to be announced to Saul, somebody recommended him, announcing that I have found someone, the son of Jesse, the one that is skillful. His skill was
was announced. What David can do was announced to his soul without seeing David. Nobody interviewed him. Nobody said we want to interrogate him. So just says, go and bring him. Somebody I want to pray for you and I pray for myself. That without seeing us, God will go and announce us. Amen. Someone will hear about you Amen. without seeing you. Amen. Someone will come for you Amen. without seeing you. Amen. What you are doing, what I am doing, people that needed it, they will set for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, Elijah, as we read in that scripture, first Kings 79, God calls his name to be known in the nation where, where he has not been. God will cause your name, my name, to be known in the nations. Amen. When I say nation, not just one nation. Somebody said that this can't be possible, but I want to, it to be possible. Nations of the world will hear about you. Amen. We hear about me. Amen. Nation of the world, we hear about this ministry. Amen. Can we just pray for this ministry on our feet? Say, oh Lord, our Father, it is the turn of this ministry for nation to hear about us. Say, oh Lord, our Father, and now this ministry, knowing in fact, apostle in global ministry, to the nation of the world, in the name of Jesus, as you are praying for this ministry, you are praying for yourself, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord, and now this ministry, to the nation of the world, in the name of Jesus, Lord, in fact, apostle in global ministry, you are global, you will be known all over the world, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now you are praying for this thing. I want you to pray for yourself. Lord, announce me to the nation of the world. The work I am doing, the business I am doing, my skill, my glory, announce me to the nation of the world. Lord, announce me to the nation of the world. My gifts, my glory, my children, Lord, announce them to the nation of the world. My children will not be localized. I will not be in local champion. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Do you know that God can make you the toast of your generation? When God makes you the toast of your generation, generation begin to hear about you. So God is said to the valley announce your family. Say that someone. Say that everyone. He's about to do what? To announce your family. God is about to announce your career. God is said to announce your ministry in the name of Jesus. Whatever you want God to announce, starting from this point, the Lord will announce it. Amen. Say good amen. amen. So divine announcement is God speaking for you before you have a chance to speak for yourself. Are you listening to me? God speaking for you before you have a chance to speak for yourself. That is God speaking for your behalf. You don't defend yourself. God is defending you. That is what God is going to do for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. He will go and speak for you in places where you can't defend yourself. You said there are some institutions that you have to have solicitors, advocates. But God is saying, I am your advocate here. I'm the one speaking for you. I'm the one introducing you. I'm the one validating you. I'm the one saying that you must be accepted. Even when they say no one will be accepted. I want to pray for you. I pray for myself. God will speak for us. Amen. Here we can't speak for ourselves. He will go and speak for us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So when we look at Elijah, Sarephat was Elijah's future destination. So God went into Elijah's future and announced him. Hallelujah. He went to what? Into Elijah's future and now him. God is going to go into your future, into my future, and announce us. Amen. Yes, your future is where you want to be, where you are getting to your dream, your dream place, your dream land. So if God can go into Elijah's future before you arrive there, announce him. So I want everyone to say amen to this prayer. Your future generation. And your, your future destination. Let the Lord go in there and announce you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. So God will step into your future and announce you. That is a mystery that no one can explain. Yes, 
God wants to prepare you, want to announce you, so that somebody, somewhere, we know that there is somebody that is called someone. There is somebody that knows how to do something. He will announce you to people you are yet to meet. Are you getting what I'm saying this morning? He will announce you to people you are yet to meet. People you don't know. People you don't know. You have not met them. But they say, we have heard about you. You have not met them. They say, it's as if we know you somewhere. Yes. Some people go, we go and announce you to them. Then we see you in their dream. Like I had our someone, he said, God showed him revelation of someone in his dream, in a dream. That God had helped that person. He mentioned his name because God wants to announce that person. He mentioned his name to her. This the person show her a picture. Now, he was a discarded person and he was able to paint that person, draw his diagram, and he was looking all about for the person. He was looking for a person and he was asking, Who is behind this thing? In fact, the person is in another nation. So he had to travel down to the nation where God showed him and was he can't pronounce the name of the person when he goes to Nigeria. And when he got to Nigeria, we say, I'm looking for this person. He showed his picture, he sketched it. And ah no, they said this person is living in Badon. Can you see what God can do? He's living in Badon. And he went down to Badon. When he got to Badon, he showed his picture, I said, We know him. That was how that person was announced. His glory was announced. Hey, God will announce you to people you are yet to meet. Come pray that prayer, Lord, announce me to people I'm yet to meet in the name of Jesus. People that will bless me, people that will take me to the fulfillment of my destiny. Lord, announce this ministry to people you are yet to meet. When the Bible says, people you don't know will serve you. Ah, that is a mystery. When I'm when you're too woman, you'll see people you don't know will serve you. In other words, God has got to your future and made some people to hear about you and they are serving you remotely. They are defending you. Defending me, defending what you can do. And they are saying, this is the person we want. That is God. Making people you don't want to serve you. I want to pray this morning that God will give you a divine announcement. Amen. An advertisement that will work for you in your future. Amen. Say good amen. amen. Say God, give me a divine announcement. Amen. Give me an advertisement that will work for me in my future. In the name of Jesus. God will cause you to be known in your future. Amen. So when God announces you, even your haters, we have no option but to walk in your favor. Those that hate you, they have no option. They will just walk in your favor. When God announces a Joseph in the land of Egypt, even Potiphar had no option. He had no option because God has announces him. Those people that hate you will bow when God announces you. People that have said rubbish about you, that you are not good, you don't know how to do anything. When God announces you, they will come and bow and serve you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want to pray for someone. God will announce you. Amen. And your haters will bow before you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Listen, when God announces you, people who you may not like to help you, people that may not like to help you, we have no option that we help you. Do you believe that? I want to tell you when God tell you one more thing when God because God has announced you. They don't want to help, but they have no option. Yes, somebody I want to pray for you. People that may not want to help you before from today, they have no option. They will help you Amen. because God will announce you. Amen. So when God advertises you, you will become so famous, even when you have not done much. That is God advertising you. People will know you. They know what you are doing. When they say they want someone that can do this, yes, they begin to mention your name. And you begin to wonder, how did they know about me? You become so famous. People will know you all about. People will be talking about you. 
even in nations. When God speaks to people about you, they will have no option but to feel God's, God's will concerning you. Amen. There is something about the God's will concerning you. God will announce you and people will fulfill that in His will for you. The will of God is for Elijah to be sustained and he has to go and announce it to, his, to, a, to a widow, a widow, a Sarephat, that this is a prophet that will be sustained, will not be, will not die with this famine. I want to pray for someone today. God's will for you shall be fulfilled. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There are somebody that needs to bring the will of God to pass in your life, in my life. Let God go and announce our name, what we can do to that person in the name of Jesus. Amen. Someone as you are seated and as you are watching me online, ask God to advise you in places you have not been. Go you have prayed that prayer. Lord, advertise me in places I have not been to. In the name of Jesus. Say, God, advertise me in places I have not been to. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You want to pray, ask God to advertise you to people you have not met. I will do to advertise you to people you have not met. I will do to advertise you to people you have not met. I will do to pray in the name of Jesus. Advertise me to people I have not met. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, advertise this church. To people that we have not met before. In the name of Jesus. Advertise me. Advertise me. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Ask God for the blessings of divine announcement. Divine announcement is a blessing. In Bukone. So you are going to say, Lord, I ask for the blessing of divine announcement. Divine announcement. Oh Lord, let me receive it. Open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus. Yes, the blessing of divine announcement. I ask for it right now. I receive the blessing of the fire announcement in the name of Jesus. Malika Sotanilisa, Yakatonia Deza, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. So when Elijah got to Telephant, let's look at verse 10 of that scripture. First Kings chapter 17, verse 10. When he got to the woman, so he arose and went to Seraphat. And when he came to the gates of the city, behold, the widow woman was there gathering stick. And he called to her and said, Fetch me, I pray thee, a little water in the vessel that I may drink. Immediately he got there. God ordered his step to the woman at Seraphat. And the woman was gathering stick. And he said, Woman, come, please, I want to drink water. And what happened in the next verse? Verse 11. And as she was going to fetch it, he called her back and said, Bring me, I pray thee, a morsel of bread in your hand. He has not given him the water. I said, Please, I need bread. The woman did not ask, Who are you? Asking me for water or for bread. Because God has announced it. When God announces you, what you need will be given to you. Nobody will say, who are you? But they are going to say to you, how are you? The woman was asked, was just dancing to the tomb of Elijah. And said, not only water, when you are coming with the water, bring food for me. And this was a time of what? This was a time of famine. Now nobody asked food to eat. In fact, the woman was even getting ready. To eat his last, our last food and go and die. But because God has announced so, the woman met the needs of that man. In verse 12, let's see what the Bible says in verse 12. And she said, As the Lord thy God liveth, can you see? I am not a cake, but a handful of meal in the barrel, and little oil in the goose. And behold, I am gathering two sticks. That I may go in and dress it for me and my son, that we may eat and die. See, that is the only thing we have. I'm just preparing this one so that I and my son will eat and we die after this. But because it is God announcing the woman, announcing Elijah, the woman have no option than to obey God's will in the life of Elijah. Somebody today. The person that God announces you to will have no option that will obey God's will for you. In the name of Jesus. 
and verse 13. Verse 13. And Elijah said unto her, Fear not. <laughs> Go and do as I have said. But make me therefore a little cake first and bring it unto me. And after, make thee and for thy son. You must attend to me first. The man said, I, the man said, I had you. But the first thing, leave first after you. It, is, it takes God's announcement for someone to obey such order. Somebody say, I want to go and eat, and me and my son will die. And somebody say, No, do my own first. Hallelujah. When God announces you, people will do your own first. They will do your bidding first. From today, someone, people will do your own first before they remember their home. In the name of Jesus. In the heart of destiny helpers, they will listen to this ministry first before they do any other thing. So, amen. amen. And the next verse, the woman went in. And she, she went and did according to the sayings of Elijah. And she and, he, and her house did eat many things. Can you see? She followed that instruction and they lived many things. So you are a blessing to this generation when God announces you. You can never be stranded. So you can see how Elijah was sent to even the place where you don't know. Somebody I'm praying for you and I'm praying for myself and this ministry. In the places where we are not going, God will go ahead of us, announce us, we shall be established, we shall be sustained. Even in this season that is so hard, it will not be hard for us. Rise to your feet and let us pray. Pray with me. Say, Lord, announce me to my generation. Say, Lord, advertise me in places I've not been before, in places I've not been to, in the name of Jesus. That's your prayer. In the name of Jesus. But my Lord and Savior, who oh Lord announce me. So when you are singing that song, you first of all sing to yourself and you sing to somebody that God will announce them in the name of Jesus. As you are singing that song, you are singing it that God will announce your work, your family, whatever you are doing, your work, your business. God will announce it. That business will be announced. Amen. Oh God, announce me. 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 You are my Lord and Savior. Oh God, announce me.
And we have our feet this morning. Now welcome us one more time to the presence of God. The God, God Almighty. We are now so to speak to Amen. In a place that we don't even think of. The Lord we are now so. Amen. And we are now the work of our hands. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That that you do, that is good. The Lord we are now so. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's listen to those announcements. Praise the Lord. Every Tuesday here upon those month, upon those Monday, we have our prayer meeting, Oh Lord, establish me. And we always form up Tuesday, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. So please, when you are coming this Tuesday, I want you to come with someone. And if you are online joining us, we still do social media and you tune in. It's the old Lord establish me. And as you come and as we tune in, the Lord God Almighty will establish you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Sunday services is always 9 a.m. upon this Monday. And the Lord God Almighty we hear our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In this month of divine announcement, the Lord God Almighty, we are not so divided. Amen. We have been trying your best that yes, things will go well. You have been trying your best that things will work out good. But God Almighty will look upon that and will be divinely announcing. Amen. And things will go well with you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's package our offering right now. Giving God his tithes. And we package that tithes unto God. And giving God that offering. Let's package the offering. You are making a transfer. You are online. You are making a transfer. Account details are there on the screen. That you can get to. The Lord will bless us as we are doing that in the name of Jesus. Let's package our offering. I believe as we package that offering, can we just stand up on our feet as we pray this prayer? Everlasting Father, as we give unto you this offering, Father, we pray that you accept it in Jesus' name. Amen. Every one of us that are giving our time, let it be accepted in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your time that you are giving unto God this morning, let it be acceptable in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. The Lord God Almighty will remove the glory for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As you give that sight unto God, the remaining percent in your hands. The Lord will bless it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Everyone sowing a seed unto this ministry, I pray that your seed will speak for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you are giving that offering, let it be acceptable in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Let the blessing of the Lord rest upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you because you always answer. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let's drop our offering. In Jesus' mind. 
today we have prayed. Amen. Amen. I don't want us to pray with that Isaiah chapter 49, verse 13. We just read 49, verse 11. 49, 13 says, Sing for joy, O heaven, rejoice, O earth, post into song, O mountain, for the Lord has comforted his people. And we have compassion upon them. You are going to pray. Say, Oh Lord, my Father, oh, Lord, my as I go out the streets, show me your compassion. Open your heart and begin to pray. Show me your compassion in the name of Jesus. Show me your compassion in the name of Jesus. Show me your compassion in the name of Jesus. Show me your compassion in the name of Jesus. Father, show me your compassion in the name of Jesus. This week, I have gone out and shown you your compassion, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Show me my children, Lord. Compassion. I'm in the work of my hand. Let me be full of passion. I'm in the work of my hand. Let me be full of passion. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. A passion that will make us to be announced in strength places. Let me release upon us in the name of Jesus. A passion that will make our business, our career to be announced in strength places. And then we will be lifted, we will be taken to our place of divine elevation. Let me rest upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. All of the time you because you always answer. If there's any mountain that don't want us to be announced in that strange places, let that mountain be made class in the name of Jesus. Amen. For every one of us saying amen, I pray that before this time next week, we will come with a testimony that the Lord has announced me in a straight place. Amen. So shall it be in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus, my name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name, special. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely. His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Three wonderful hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen.